this class we work out one problem on symmetrical fault calculation using Thevenin's theorem. This is the given network. This network consists of two generators, two transformers, three buses. One, two, three. Three branch impedances are given. J.8, J.4, J.4. All are expressed in per unit on 100 MeA base. Generator reactance is J.1, this is J.2. Transformer reactance is J.1 per unit, this is J.2 per unit. The question is, a three-phase fault occurs at bus 3. Calculate the fault current. Fault reactance XF is equal to 0. And the fault reactance XF is equal to J.15. That is the question. First step, we have to draw the reactance diagram. This is generator reactance J.1, J.2. This is transformer reactance J.1, J.2. The branch impedance J.8, J.4 and J.4. We have to calculate the total reactance between the fault point and the neutral point. Here, J.8, J.4, J.4. Three are connected in delta. So, we convert delta to star. That is the step 2 x12 is equal to j.8, x13 is equal to j.4, x23 is equal to j.4. I have to find the equivalent star reactor, that is x1, x2, x3. x1 is equal to j.8 into j.4 divided by j.8 plus j.4 plus j.4, that is equal to j1.6. So j.8 into j.4 divided by j1.6, that is equal to j.2. Similarly, x2 is equal to j.8 into j.4 divided by j1.6, j.2. x3 is equal to j.4 into j.4 divided by j1.6, that is equal to j.1. Step 3, I have to redraw the circuit like this. This is delta connected, this is star connected. This is j.2, j.2, this is j.1. This is the transformer reactant J.1, this is J.2, generator reactant J.1, J.2. E1 and E2, the pre-fault voltage is 1 angle 0, this is 1 angle 0. Step 4, I have to draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. This is a Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Here J.4 and J.6, both are connected in parallel. The effective reactance is J.4 into J.6 divided by J.4 plus J.6 that is equal to J.24. And the step 5 I have to redraw the circuit like this. E Thevenin's is equal to 1 angle 0. This is J.24. This is J.1. This reactance. Therefore X Thevenin's is equal to J.24 plus J.1 that is equal to J.34 because XF is equal to 0. I can easily calculate the fault current. IF is equal to E Thevenin's divided by XF plus X Thevenin's. XF is equal to 0. E Thevenin's is equal to 1 angle 0. X Thevenin's is equal to J.34. Therefore, fault current is equal to 2.94 angle minus 90 degree in per unit. The case 2, when XF is equal to J.15, that is step 5. Again, I read the circuit like this. This is J.24, this is J.1, this is J.15. Now, these three are connected in series. The x is equal to J.24 plus J.1 plus J.15. That is equal to J.49. So, fault current is equal to 1 angle 0 divided by J.15 plus J.34. That is equal to 1 angle 0 divided by J.49. Fault current IF is equal to 2.04 angle minus 90 degree in per unit. When x is equal, xf is equal to 0, the fault current is 2.94 angle minus 90 degree in per unit. When xf is equal to j.15, fault current is 2.04 angle minus 90 degree per unit. This way we have to work out this problem. Thanks for listening.